Good morning to my Aurora family on this chilly Wednesday morning. I hope your day has started off wonderfully for you. Well, a couple of things I want to talk about, and I promise you I'll be brief. First, thank you for taking time just to view this video. I love staying connected with you in this manner. Of course, can't beat in person, uh, can you? But anyway, this coming Sunday, February 7th, new worship time. 9 a.m. New worship time, 9 a.m. Of course, live streaming, in person, all of that. We're moving to 9 a.m. And I want to thank you, Aurora, for your willingness to make that move again. Because of uh, my new assignment at St. Mark's, we're moving our time from 9.30 to 9. And St. Mark's had to move their worship time from 10 until 10.30. So both churches you know, compromised, and I am so grateful for the willingness of you, Aurora, to make that change. So, nine o'clock this coming Lord's Day. Also, this coming Sunday, we will be handing out to each family a Linton bag, and we also will be making these available to uh, to our shut-ins or those who would normally be here, but because of COVID, they cannot come we will be making those available to them as well. But uh, I'm so indebted to my, uh, in my creative wife. She was sharing with me what she uh, and Gretna were going to be doing for Lent. And it was this idea of placing symbols and objects and some things within a bag that a family or a person could utilize throughout the Lenten season that would just add meaning. Plus, it will bring us all together as a church family, even though we are separated. And so this coming Sunday, uh, you will be handed this bag. And in that bag, there will be, there will be a note from me along with the words, uh, some words of instruction. And then you'll see the things that we've made available that we hope will certainly make Lent meaningful for all of us uh, in this very interesting time of COVID. So, looking forward to doing that this coming Lord's Day. And I want you to also be aware of, of Ash Wednesday. Of course, that's what, on the 17th. So we have a few days, but I want to go ahead and just let you know that we will open our sanctuary from 7 until 8 a.m. Ash Wednesday morning, and then it will also be open from 12 until 1, the noon hour. And those of you who may can get off for lunch or those who want to come early on your way to work, we will have the doors open. But here's what we will be doing. Because of COVID and wanting to be safe uh, and maintain our social distancing and wearing our mask, I have created a self-directed time of worship for you. And uh, you can stay as long as you would like or as brief as you would like. But this self-directed worship will take you through some readings and some prayers that I hope will be meaningful to you on Ash Wednesday. And then when you are ready for the uh, imposition of ashes, I will have those ashes available and you will apply them yourself, either on the top of your uh, hand making the cross there, or if you want to do it on your forehead, I will have a mirror for you to help you uh, do that. But we're wanting to make Ash Wednesday as meaningful as we can during this challenging time. So those are some wonderful opportunities that we will be having uh, early on in the Lenten season. I'm looking forward to sharing Lent with you for the very first time. Well, this coming Lord's Day, 9 a.m., We'll be looking forward to your joining us as we worship our living Christ. Thank you for listening. Have a great Wednesday.